Hey everyone, it's Tea Time with the Diva. Grab your tea, grab your coffee, because we're going to get into it. This Tea Time is dedicated to Monique, the comedian. Listen, when you got a mom like Monique, who needs enemies? She is a piece of work. For over a decade, at the very least, Monique has been telling us that Tyler Perry and Oprah Winfrey put mud on her name. They blackballed her. They told everybody that she was problematic to work with, okay? That she was a problem. And, you know, she had the people, you know, the fans swinging left, swinging right, didn't know how to feel. Monique also told us, you know, boycott Netflix. But now that she settled her lawsuit with Netflix and she got uh, her hour her comedy show on Netflix, now we can go back to watching Netflix. So a lot of these celebrities, they want to pull and tug because they know that they have so many fans that admire them. They want to pull and manipulate and tug on their fan base to whenever they need them to go left or right. But see, I don't fall for the shenanigans. No, I do not. Mm -mm. You Listen, I'm going to feel, I'm grown, I'm going to feel how I want to feel, and I can still like you and, and still feel my own personal way. I'm going to shut down Netflix because you have a problem, but then there's a hundred other people that I love that are still getting paid by Netflix that I want to like and watch. So because you said it, I should I should uh, tell Netflix, cut it, cut it off, cut it off, give me back my money that I pay every month until you settle your grievance. So what am I saying in case y'all feel I'm on over the place? Monique is messy. Monique is messy. Out of her own mouth, Monique said, sitting next to her daddy, they claim together that her son, her oldest son, Shalon, has mental health issues. That's what they said. This ain't me saying that. They said that. So you know your son, and you said daddy knew Shalom before he knew himself. So that means daddy really knows your son. So collectively together, y'all feel he has mental health problems. And maybe y'all know for a fact, because y'all know him. I don't. This is what they say. So you got a son that has mental health issues. Perhaps maybe having a mental break or feeling emotional. So he does a TikTok. Now, you know he has set issues. But you go on your dark matter tour with Cat Williams. You get up on the stage because you have no written jokes. Nothing you saying is funny. And you claim you run into an airport. You meet some lady. And she told you, F them kids. And you felt it was going to not be funny to get on the stage and say that. You got a son that is hurt, broken, beat down because his own mother doesn't even love him. And she ain't got no problem telling the world she don't love him. It's one thing to not be loved and maybe you and a couple of your friends know. It's another thing when your mother will sit on, get on the stage or sit on her couch next to her daddy and tell the world, I don't love my son. I didn't want to be a mother when I had him. It is what it is. What do you want me to do about it? Listen, guys, we're going to get more into this story right after this. Now, this clip is so many places. Let me go to Hollywood Unlock and play this. So Monique responds to her son Salon's TikTok videos. F them kids. Unbelievable. 
something wrong, but I ain't no bitch that's gonna back up from a motherfucking problem. I'ma walk straight to that motherfucker and I'ma deal with that shit. So today I'm coming to the airport in North New Jersey. It's the realest nigga I've ever met from North New Jersey. I'm coming to that motherfucking airport and I've been just seen this motherfucking TikTok of my goddamn son. Had I known that nigga was going to do a TikTok today, I brought him home. I'm gonna let y'all take that one. And when you see your child that you fuck for, <laughs> I fuck for that nigga, not another bitch, it was me. And you see your motherfucking child go on a goddamn internet and tell people all the fuck that you're not. Oh, fuck that and you just baby, supposed to yeah. take that shit and stride. And I'm taking that shit. I apologize if I've done something wrong. Change stride. And I'm walking through the motherfucking North Airport, and this elderly woman comes up to me. She said, Monique. I said, ma'am. Because <laughs> I'm a respectful bitch, baby. I'm a respect this bitch. She a hoe. <laughs> she said, let me talk to you for a minute. So I had prepared myself for this old woman to tell me how fucked up I was. I prepared myself to be respectful, but to check a bitch if I had to. I prepared myself to listen. She said, listen, my grandbaby called me and told me to watch this goddamn TikTok of your son. And I watched that shit. James Stride, and I'm walking through the... I said, yes, ma'am. She said, I want to tell you something. I said, ma'am. She said, fuck that nigga. <laughs> I said, oh, bitch, fuck that nigga. And when the elderly people tell you, fuck that nigga, you ain't fuck that nigga. She said, you been taking care of that nigga all his motherfucking life. She said, Monique, I'm 80 years old, and I got a son 60 years old. And every time that nigga don't get what he want, he still tell me how fucked up I was when he was 10 years old. <laughs> fuck that nigga. Does it get any sadder than that? If you was gonna use your stage to discuss the relationship, the fractured relationship or non-relationship between you and your son, you would have done the world more justice if you came up on that stage and said, you know what? I know there's something going on with me and my son right now, but let me put this out there. God works miracles, and I'm praying for the healing and the reconciliation between me and my son. But instead, you proved to be problematic, just like you claim Oprah and Tyler said you were, and you get up on the stage with your own people and say, F the kids. And then we wonder why, you know, our culture, we're at the bottom of the totem pole when it comes to everything, everything. At the bottom of the totem pole, millions of years after slavery, during Black History Month, you get on the stage and you say, F them kids. So the world looks at our kids and you know what the world says? F them Black kids. The teacher looks at our kids and you know what they say about our kids? F them Black kids. They stupid anyway. They come from broken homes. You go to the jobs, similar stuff in a lot of these jobs. Can't win for losing. They said there's no place like home. You know, even when you go on the nicest vacations, I don't care where you live. I don't care if you live in the projects. I don't care if you got a studio apartment. I don't care if you live in a mansion. When you go on the nicest vacation, the best hotel, the fluffiest bed, at some point during that vacation, you'd be like, I can't wait to get home. I'm over it. Had enough. Loved the beach. Loved all the all-you-can-eat food. Loved the drinks. Loved everything. I had a ball. But I'm ready to get back home. There's no place like home. And when you're a child, it's your parents. It's your parents. That's your home. 
It lives in you. It's not the physical building. It lives in you. And when your own mother and father is so effed up to the point where they can tell you to your face, I don't want you, I don't care about you, I don't like you. What is a child supposed to do from there? Who are they going to be when they grow up? Well, you see it, right? We got Shalom. Who no matter how he fights, probably he has his good days. Who doesn't when they got stuff going on? But then when you when the, when the storm is quiet down and you got to live in your truth and you got to say to yourself, my own mother doesn't like me. Monique was wrong for that. And I don't care what anybody has to say to me in the comments. You can have your thought process. I can have mine. Monique is wrong for that. Wrong for that. She sent her kid out in the world feeling unloved, unprotected. And then she's wondering why he's on the TikTok crying out for help. Listen, guys, chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts. I said it before. I'll say it again. Monique gets an F. And so she's begging for forgiveness for people that didn't pop her out of her uterus, out of their uterus, didn't lay down and, and make her. She wants them to forgive her, to come and give her an apology. But she won't even give no grace, mercy towards her own flesh and blood. You want to know the real reason, in my opinion, why this chick is having problems in the street? Because she's problematic. Anyway, guys, chat with me. I'll chat back. I'll see you on the next video.